Hey everyone, I'm Airwing Marine. Welcome back to the channel and my next Escape from Tarkov video. As you can see, we're uh, we're not on the main account here. We're we're in a hideout with uh, nothing built in it. That's because I'm on an account that I just reset, and I'm going to tell you a couple of reasons why you sh might want to think about doing the same thing right before the wipe happens. Let's get right into it. All right. So obviously, this video is assuming 1211 is going to come with a wipe. We haven't seen any confirmation of that yet. There's no patch notes, uh, so. I don't know for 100% that a wipe's gonna happen, but I'm assuming there is. And I wanna do content based around the wipe, uh, get some information out there for you guys. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's talk real quick about resetting your account. What does it do? How do you do it? Why or why you should not do it? We'll talk about all those things in this video. So first things first, with patch 12.9 back in December, they introduced a feature to where if you played before and you ID'd stuff, those IDs, you know, the IDing items, would carry over through the wipe. It was the only thing that would persist on your character uh, besides your playtime on your stats. That is the only two things that persist. So if you played last wipe or you played this wipe and you go into the next wipe, you're supposedly not gonna have to need to ID everything all over again, you know, 2,600 items or whatever the heck it is in the game. Now this didn't work for everybody. About half the people uh, that I play with reported that they had to re-ID stuff I didn't. I didn't have to read ID anything on my main account. It was all there and ID'd and ready to go. When they added it, it was a nice quality of life feature because uh, it just it saved you from that whole effort of using your middle mouse button and IDing thousands and thousands and thousands of items. But nonetheless, there's still reasons that you might want to get rid of that quality of life feature, which is what resetting your account does. It makes it to where you have to re-ID everything. And he here are the reasons that I think you should do it. First off, um, you can get level two without ever going into a raid. So if you go through and you ID stuff and you double click on a gun and you see, so you might ID all the parts in like proper, right? But if you double click on the PPSH, there's still a couple of more parts in there you can ID. And if you go through all of those parts, you don't even have to go through all the way through mechanic. If you everybody, everybody else, every other trader, and then you go into mechanic and you do a couple of things there that will give you that little bit of experience you need to get to level two. And the reason that's important is because it unlocks gunsmith, uh, part one once you do gunsmith part one then that unlocks introduction so once you get introduction done uh you can go right into woods and get that letter for jaeger and once you have jaeger unlocked and you have a whole series of other tasks so instead of going to customs right out the gate and competing with all the other players that are on customs trying to do the tasks there and just that's usually the first map a lot of people go some people go interchange some people go reserve but most people go customs woods is pretty empty and it's got a lot of good loot on it so while you're running around woods and you're looting there, you can get your Salewas. Uh, you, again, you can get the letter for the Jaeger task. You can get hideout items. You can kill scabs to pick up the 3M armor or Taws, which you need for a skier task in just a little bit, as well as find some weapon parts so you can kind of gear up a little bit better. Weapon parts and armor uh, off of the scavs that are on that map. Um, and you're not fighting against people on customs again. That's, that's the big important part of that. And the other advantage to having to ID everything um, is the very fact that you have to ID stuff, right? So with all the keys in the game, and especially like shoreline keys and stuff like that, you always know when you find a new key, because if you haven't found the key yet, it's not ID'd. So anytime you find a key that's not ID'd, there's a potential for another key to add to your storage. You know, okay, I found this key like three times for customs. I don't need to keep it. It's not worth that much. I'll, you know, I, I'll get rid of that in my inventory. Whereas if it's a new key, you know, you haven't found it yet. Now, there are reasons you shouldn't reset. First off, it's annoying and it can get you killed. So if you're in a fight and you're trying to really quick loot somebody's gun and pick up their mags or loot their armor and you don't have those ID'd, it's not gonna let you equip them or use them. So like, let's say you ID the gun and you pick it up real quick, but none of the mags are ID'd, you can't reload with those mags. Same thing with ammo for like uh, bolt action guns or trying to pack mags and armor. If you don't have the armor or the rig ID'd, it's not gonna let you pick it up. So having all that stuff ID'd keeps that scenario from occurring in the middle of a fight or something like that. That's why I very frequently uh, on these lower level accounts where I reset for another account for another playthrough or something, I'll go through fence and ID stuff just so I have it ID'd so I'm not having to do it in raid. And the other thing is, is you don't need to get to level two right away. You can go to customs and fight and very easily get level two. You kill a couple of scavs, get some loot, extract, you're going to be level two or if you get any of your tasks done, all that kind of stuff will push you to level two. This just gives you another opportunity to progress a little bit faster um, in the raid count, if you will. So your first raid, you're already unlocking Jaeger, assuming you make it out alive. So that's not a necessity. And for players that are more experienced or have a lot of hours in the game, 
it's probably not even all that big of a deal. Me personally, I'm not going to reset my main account. I don't have any reason to do that. Uh, I, I prefer to have stuff ID'd, but on my lower level accounts, on my on my my uh, alternate accounts, if you will, when I do other playthroughs, I will reset those uh, just because I like that progress of, of finding new stuff. It's kind of exciting too. Um, and it kind of helps new players relate to what you're doing and how you're playing. So I'll leave that up to you. You can make the choice on what you want to do. I just wanted to let people know that that option is out there. And some people might not even know you can wipe uh, wipe your account. And you can do this at any point during the the cycle of the game. You know, I, I just reset an account yesterday so I could go and make this content for you guys and show you the brand new process, uh, as well as show you on the website. So um, for those of you that don't even know that you can do that, what you need to do is you need to sign into your account on escapefromtarkov.com. Um, you click on the profile button up in the top right corner of the screen. That's going to take you to your profile, obviously. And then the fifth selection from the bottom, at least that's what it is on my screen, you have a reset game profile button. Once you click that, you verify it, and then poof, your account is wiped. The server isn't, but your account is. You start from square one. You got to repick what, what, whether you play Barry Usec, do your name, all of that stuff. And it's as simple as that. Now, for those of you, this is also where you go to claim your Christmas gift if you have that. Uh, it's where you link your account to Twitch, which is important for, uh, you know, Twitch drop events and stuff like that. Um, and it's also where you can upgrade your account to EOD if you wish, uh, if you're so inclined. That all happens right here on the screen. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this was helpful and we'll see you in Tarkov. Well, that wraps up the video. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that like button because it helps out the channel a bunch. And subscribe for future content. We also have a Discord, links down in the description, that you can come join. We're filling up with a bunch of chill people who just love to play Tarkov. If you're looking to support the channel in other ways, we've launched a Patreon with some benefits like access to a Discord channel, a constantly updated spreadsheet for my hideout calculations, and some other things if you want to go check it out over there. Lastly, thanks for your support on YouTube. It means the world to me and I greatly appreciate every one of you. So with that, we'll wrap it up and we'll see you in Tarkov.